Chill, chill, chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Guys, listen, today's topic is Is Crystal the most promising programming language of 2018? Is this like the language that's gonna take over? Is this the language that you should be looking at? All right. Now, what I'm gonna say to you guys is it's very fast. <laughs> I, I think out of all the programming languages is the fastest one uh, of course besides c and c plus plus because they're pretty lower level they're very close to uh the machine code but besides that crystal is right there like literally leading the pack it's faster than go people be like oh go is the fastest it's like not really buddy you gotta start looking at this so <laughs> yeah crystal is where it's at guys now who is crystal for Crystal is, is not for the person who's trying to get a job right now at the moment, right? If you are a developer and you're like, oh, man, I want to get a job right now. And I want to, you know, it's my first time being a developer. Like, you could look at it. You could try it out. You could test it out. Play around with it, right? But right now, currently, there's not that many companies using Crystal, right? Because it's still on beta. Once it touches 1.0, then that's it everybody's gonna be like, okay now it's stable the api is gonna stay the same nothing's gonna be having no breaking changes so people are gonna stick with it right now like i said there's a lot of people talking about golang there's a lot of people talking about node.js there's a lot of people talking about rust elixir uh python right but this is the fastest language out there okay there's no debate around it this is the fastest language out there and we're going to keep on talking about this, okay? So let's keep on scrolling down. This is actually an article that uh, Sam Johnson uh, basically wrote. I'm going to add this to my my website. I'm also going to add it to the description to for you guys to actually watch and, and read, okay? So let's keep on moving, right? So basically, it's as fast as C, but slick like Ruby. So if you come from the background of ruby and you come from the background of python because python and ruby are very similar in a lot of ways so if you're coming from those backgrounds this is gonna be like icing on the cake because it's just super fast right so let's continue with this so performance is legit uh it uses the lvm framework basically goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with c plus plus and rust any day of the week um basically i'm gonna show you guys there's a link of which one is the fastest all right and this is a i believe is about uh fastest web frameworks okay so they tested out all the different web frameworks that are out there and just to see which one is the fastest all right so the fastest one is actually called one uh called router cr so router crystal okay this thing is extremely fast okay now let me see if i could show you a couple of other ones you got router crystal then the second one is rust third one is nickel uh fourth one is iron then the fifth one is crystal again which is race um then from there you got python japraton uh fast http router for go so there's a couple of them over here now you can see express is all the way at the bottom <laughs> like they test out the speed they test out how long it takes for the request to come back in and and pretty much is like when you do the test and you see it you're like okay crystal and it just blows it out the box automatically all right so for those people that be like oh no it's super fast it's like it's all right it's coming up in this world but it's all right it's not really that fast when you go in and you put it against go or you put it against crystal and like crystal is already beating golang so that that should tell you everything right so there's a list that has like all the fastest web frameworks out there and in reality you might think like who is this for like you know a fast web framework when i could do everything with uh laravel laravel is actually pretty slow but like let's say in a situation where you need to uh serve a lot of different uh requests right so let's say an example you have 
a million uh, phones out there, right, connected to to this one server, and it needs to just constantly give out data back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? You need a, a server that's actually going to be super fast to be able to handle all those requests, okay? Now, uh, basically, Router Crystal is, is very simple. Uh, it's a small little application, little framework. Um, that definitely check it out, all right? I'm going to maybe do like a tutorial on that here on YouTube so people could actually see uh, how it works. And just have like a cool introduction to like Crystal and a cool introduction to the beginning stages of, you know, Router Crystal, okay? Now, let's keep on moving. So the syntax is very similar to Ruby. If you know Ruby, you pretty much know, <laughs> know Crystal. Uh, the only difference is that it has uh, static typing. And for some people, that might be a problem. But for some people, that might be the best thing that <laughs> can happen to any programming language. All right. So, yeah, there's also fibers. You know, you come in and you might think like, hey, man, you're dealing with callback hell of JavaScript. It's like you're not dealing with none of that. All right. One thing that you see constantly in JavaScript is like nil, no, like... Those type of errors you're not going to have in Crystal because it's a compiled language. So before it even compiles, it tells you, hey, man, it's just not going to work. You got to fix this thing, right? So that's one of the best things about Crystal. Like you're not having those little errors. All the mistakes that you see in JavaScript, they're not in Crystal Lang at all, you know? So that's pretty cool. It also has shards. So shards are pretty similar to... Uh, no packages and they're very similar to Ruby gems. So it's like its own package um, package management system. So it's pretty legit. Uh, pretty much it says myriadic uh, rise in popularity. So yeah, right now Crystal Lang is going up the ranks, man. Like it's going to get to at least in the top five, you know, in the next year. And that's for sure. I can guarantee it. Like it's definitely going to be in the top five. All it's really missing right now is just one major company to say, hey, you know, our website used to be built in Ruby on Rails. Hey, now we're using Amber. The moment somebody says that, any company, it's a wrap. Like, this language is going to blow up even more than what it is right now. Okay? It's also cross-platform. Uh, right now, it's focused on Linux and OSX. There's ways to really do it with Windows, but it's like you're pretty much hacking the system to do it. Uh, pretty soon, they're going to uh, release a, a Windows version. They're going to have more support for Windows users. So it's all right, guys. It's coming for you guys. Right now, like I said, you could use it, but there's really not support for it. But in the next few weeks, next few months, it's going to be 100% supported with Windows, okay? Now, the next thing that you're going to see also is as far as web frameworks. I talk about Router uh, CR, which is Router Crystal. Uh, that's a pretty small little framework for doing HTTP requests. Now, you also have Amber, which is like the Ruby on Rails of Crystal Lang. It's like a full stack framework. It has everything that you need, and it's pretty legit. Then from there, you have something like Camel. Remember when I started doing my, my Rocky stack? It was React over Crystal and Camel. So pretty much this is Camel, right? <laughs> That's what was behind the scene of my Rocky stack. Now, Crystal's not perfect, but you got to understand. What language out there is perfect? There's really no perfect language. So let's be honest, okay? Now, as far as the limitations and the little problems here and there that it's having right now, is pretty much the Windows support, right? So currently you could hack the system, but it's not 100% supported. So it's like you're hacking to basically get the language working on your computer, all right? Now, there's no parallelism, okay? So unless you like uh, something like C and you're like, oh, I need parallelism in my, you know, in my freaking language and this, this and that, I'm, it's like, hey man, if you're doing all of that, you might as well stick with C, right? But as far as concurrency, uh, fibers definitely support that. Um, basically, it's at the same level as uh, Golang. That's how I measure it. I will say, hey, it's head-to-head it's -head with Golang. 
but it's actually faster than Golang. Uh, let me see. There's still some breaking changes. You know, once in a while, they might do like a, a 0.1 or 0.2 uh, upgrade that might break your code. But what's cool about the community is the fact that people are there to help you. And not only that, that they tell you exactly like whenever something is about to break, they'll be like, hey, we changed this. What used to be, let's say, for example, uh, dot length, dot L-E-N-G-T-H. Now it's actually dot L-E-N-G. Um, right let's say an example something like that right so they rename something right they'll tell you hey just go in there and rename it that's it all right so you are always gonna be on top of it and usually i've had a couple of codes that that basically broke and then i looked at the website and said like, oh shoot all i have to do is just change this and everything was good <laughs> it was so easy all i did was just command f and like command shift f and like replace all with with the new syntax that's it it's pretty simple so yeah that's pretty much it guys what do i think about crystal where do i see it going in the next year i think this thing is about to blow up man this is like one of those cool technologies cool programming languages cool frameworks cool whatever you want to call it right whatever is out there it's a programming language but it's like you know how a new framework just popping up and it's like somehow it's blowing up over here and you know, people are talking about it like this is the next big thing, man. And just remember, I was one of the first people that actually told you about this because, you know, once I I come out and be like, hey, man, Crystal Lang is popping. People's going to be like, oh, my God, Crystal Lang is the new language. And you start seeing a whole bunch of different uh, medium posts, a whole bunch of YouTubers. You see a whole bunch of different blogs. Everybody's going to be on it. But all it takes is just one company one application to really become popular using a programming language and then the whole industry shifts okay i'm telling you guys this language right here is the next big thing trust me now for you guys you should guys should definitely just try it out right i know a lot of you guys are brand new developers who are just getting into the industry some of you guys don't even have a job as a developer yet but this isn't gonna hurt you to actually try it out and be able to have a conversation sometimes it's good to try things out like this because you might go even to a job interview and somebody might ask you hey what are you excited about and then now you have a new topic to talk about and actually put them on into something that they never heard of you know what i mean you could go to an interview and they'll be like hey Oh, uh, what are you actually excited about? And you'd be like, well, there's this new programming language called Crystal Lang. It is as fast as C, and it has the same syntax as Ruby. It is a beautiful language. It got static typing. Like, you throw that out there on your interview, and people will be like, oh, wow. That's cool. Uh, this guy, he's, he's actually part of the community. He's actually looking into new things. He's actually putting me on to new things. So it's definitely going to look good. And for all of you guys who are more experienced developers, hey, man, if you're looking to build an application that's going to be super fast and even for like for just for web development, right? And you need something that is going to be fast or uh, fast requests. Guys, check this out, man. This, this is the, the language for you, right? And definitely check out Ember and check out uh, Router CR. Okay, so anyways, guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Your boy is back, and I done did it again.